Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen with Gardening 2018. Today I'm going to be discussing my grow box. In 2017 I had uh, videos where I was, I was doing a uh, condensation experiment with it and I uh, had dirt inside of it with plastic just over the top of it and it, it, it was a basic grow box about maybe three foot high and square made out of wood and that's what I used as just a regular grow box this year what I did is I took all of the dirt that we had and we were growing in the videos for 2017 and I put it together in the grow box to see if anything will grow in it because <clears throat> our growing experience for gardening in 2017 was pretty much uh, dismal. The only thing that we were able to actually grow was a tomato plant. They didn't produce any tomatoes and it eventually died at the end of the year or so. so. That was our outcome. Um, the one thing I did learn from it was don't take too much advice when it comes to what people uh, recommend on YouTube. Like I, we had people that were saying use um, peroxide in, inside of your water and stuff like that and you know but we were also uh, mixing uh, kitchen soap to keep bugs off the plants and stuff. And, it just it didn't work out too well so what I did is I put all the dirt in there first I put a, a layer of uh, gravel and then some dirt or actually another thing I did too is I put some salt rock down over the gravel and then I put the dirt on top of it because I wanted to see if that would actually cause uh, the plants not to grow so um, after I did that I put uh, peach seeds, um, plum seeds, and I also put uh, my cantaloupe seeds inside of it too, so to let it grow and everything. <clears throat> now before I get started, I'm going to read to you a little bit about how to grow cantaloupes. <clears throat> and, uh, this is coming from the, farmer, the old farmer's um, almanac which was founded in 19, or 1792. Cantaloupes or musk melons are a delicious heat loving fruit with a relatively long growing season making them especially well suited for southern gardeners. Here's how to grow cantaloupes in your garden. What is commonly referred to as cantaloupe is not actually a true cantaloupe, rather a type of musk melon. True cantaloupes have a rough, warty rind and is not widely grown in or commercially available in the U.S. Their cultural and growing requirements are very similar to other melons and they have a net-like tan rind with sweet orange flesh. The name muskmelon and cantaloupe are used interchangeably. We will use the name cantaloupe on this page to avoid confusion. Planting Amend soil with aged manure or compost before planting. Growing the vines in raised rows, known as hills, ensure, ensures good drainage and, and will hold the sun's heat longer. If you are in a cooler zone, start seeds indoors about a month before transplanting. Cantaloupes, can, cantaloupe vines are very tender and should not be transplanted until all danger of frost has passed. If you live in warmer climates, you can direct, directly sow seeds outdoors, but wait until the soil temperature warms to at least 65 degrees to avoid poor germination. Plant seeds plant seeds one inches deep, 18 inches apart, in hills about three feet apart. If you have limited space, vines can be trained to a support such as a trellis. 
cantaloupes like loamy, well-drained soil. Handle them gently when you transplant. <clears throat> Add lots of compost to the area before planting and after planting. Mulching with black plastic will serve multiple purposes. It will warm the soil, <clears throat> hinder weed growth, and keep develop developing fruit clean. Fertilize when vines start growing. Row covers are a good way to keep pests at bay. While melon plants are growing, blooming, and setting fruit, they need one to two inches of water per week. Water in the morning and try to avoid wetting the leaves. Reduce watering once fruit are growing. Dry weather produces the sweetest melons. If you've had an exceptional amount of rainfall during the ripening stage, this could cause bland fruit. Once fruit begins to grow, prune in buds off of vines. Your plants may produce fewer melons, but they will no longer they will be no, they will be larger and of better quality. Vines produce male and female flowers separately on the same plant. They often begin producing male flowers several weeks before female females appear. Don't be discouraged when the first blooms don't produce fruit. Blossoms require pollination to set, to set fruit, so be kind to the bees. Okay, so I'm not going to make any comments on that. Um, I suggest that anybody who does want to grow go to the Farmer's Almanac and check it out when it comes to fruits and vegetables because it's, that's probably the best resource I've come up with. I've gone on YouTube and checked out their videos. I've gone to other websites besides the Old Farmer's Almanac. Not the new one because there are two different ones. I'm talking about the old one. The Old Farmer's Almanac and and check them out. If, if you can't find what you're looking for on there, then check out the other websites before YouTube, but um, check out Old Farmers Almanac first. They have a lot of good tips. There's some of the things that I don't agree with because I've made a video just now of my garden this year, and there's a few mistakes I made because I went according to their tips, but I was satisfied with the garden overall when it comes to the cantaloupes. So with that said, I'll show you my uh, grow box and show you what it looks like. It didn't produce any kind of uh, fruit and everything, but it, I was able to train the cantaloupes like I wanted. Now this is with my uh, lettuce and cabbage at the end of the year. I made a mistake and I put them in my grow box overnight. It happened only one night and uh, this is what it looked like at the beginning. And during the night and during the morning at some point it got attacked by squirrels and that's what happened. Um, if you guys have squirrels in your yard you need to build some kind of uh, security around your stuff because they will go into your stuff and they'll destroy it. That's the result of squirrels and um, that is one of the things I wanted to you know, bring up because it was an issue. I believe that I may have put the wrong video in there. Let me double check. Yes, I did. That was my lettuce and cabbage in the grow box, but that is uh, that is something that I did want to bring up. I uh, let me find it. Yeah, here we go. I, I did want to bring that up because it was an issue for me, and I. It needed to be uh, checked out, you know, and that's what I did. This is uh, my grow box 
at the beginning of the year, whenever I uh, first started it out. Like I said, I put uh, cantaloupe seeds in there. I thought that might have been a mango because I had a few mango seeds in there too, by the way. And uh, it turned out to be a cantaloupe. None of the mangoes ended up growing. I uh, had the cantaloupes sprouting up in June. I actually did my garden first in uh, May and I only did one seed in the garden and it didn't grow and I uh, waited a month and then finally in uh, uh, June I replanted and that's why I said before in my other video about the garden um, don't put one just one seed in put two seeds in now see these right here or two or three is what I should have said two or three seeds in for the cantaloupes now those plants that I was just showing that, those I don't know what those are if anybody recognizes those and they want to make a comment please fill me in on what those are but this is the cantaloupe says they popped out and as you can tell the one I pointed out it does I mean it, it, look, it doesn't look anything at first like a cantaloupe but it actually popped out now it started raining a lot so I put this makeshift shelter over the top of my uh, my garden and that's what it ended up looking like there's an old uh, metal construction on top of it and I used the old plastic I used last year for my condensation experiment with it and I elevated it up with poles and it has that rust on there but it didn't affect the planets whatsoever just to let everybody know, I mean, it didn't cause any problems. And I added string, and that's when I started training my cantaloupes. I was trying to get them to where they grew up. They didn't produce any fruit this year, but I did eventually get them to where they would grow up. Uh, I've seen a video on YouTube where a guy somewhere in the Philippines had trained his, uh, his, uh, cantaloupe to where they would grow up a string and I gave it a try and I'll tell you right now it is not easy there's a lot of work involved and you have to learn I give that guy kudos he's got a lot of talent he knows what he's doing I wasn't able to produce any fruit though from it but I did learn a lot about it and um, next year we're going to try to get cantaloupes grow up maybe not with a string because on the ground the vines get so thick it's hard to I mean they get heavy so when they're growing up I'm gonna have to have them to where they, the, the whatever I have for like poles and support and stuff like that strong enough to hold them up into the air because if just be prepared there's a lot of weight involved and um, that right there wasn't enough security against squirrels at all. Um, they kept sneaking around the back area right here where you see that and going in and digging into the dirt. They were pulling up uh, seeds and stuff. I even had them coming in there and burying stuff too. So just that was a real big issue. Um, we're going to have to work with this thing on the squirrels. I really hate the idea of having to kill them, but I mean, it's crazy the way they were acting. They act and they act. I, I, I really don't like even think about doing that. But we're going to have to figure out a way of keeping them out of the garden. Um, I, I don't... I didn't get anything really growing in there other than the cantaloupes uh, and one thing that I had a rule about with my grow box is I didn't kill anything off I let everything grow so that I could see it and it, it actually ended up being pretty interesting I I seen a lot of uh, interesting things growing in there so I had a blade of grass that grew straight up and it actually seeded I, I do believe I have video of it too as it's getting 
I mean, I've got it all on video. I'm taking pictures right there. That's what the beeping is. I'm going to come out with more videos with my pictures. And that way I can be more thorough and talk about it. That way if I miss anything. And, you know, um, on my cantaloupe, uh, or my garden video, I was talking about my cantaloupes, and I just wanted to let people know, too, that uh, I do have seeds, and they come from the good cantaloupes, the ones that I picked. If I couldn't bring them in the house and eat them, then I didn't keep those seeds. Um, every seed that I collected is seeds that came off of the good ones that I actually ate for myself of the, of the cantaloupes but I have plenty of extra seed for I have enough for next year or this year this uh, coming up season and if anybody needs any seeds you know leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be more than willing to get get with you and you know make a deal on it if you guys want to trade seeds, that's another thing, too. Um, I have no problem with trading seeds, so, you know, let me know. I uh, also have them for sale on uh, eCrater and on eBay, so if you guys see me on there, you know, hit me up there, too. Any way that you want to do it, let me know. But like I said, I, I didn't, I, I used uh, some of the cantaloupes for compost and the seeds that I got from those they didn't go into any of the seeds that I'm going to be using for next year I was real choicy about that and this is all before I put the plastic up so <coughs> And that's what the box ended up looking like too by the way for anybody who actually watched my 2017 videos I, I actually cleaned it out and put down different plastic and stuff on the bottom I don't think we'll be using it next year we've been thinking about maybe doing a square area out on the ground and just putting it down in the ground making a, a ground level garden with it. That poor thing's been through it. it I, I didn't do that good of a job of building it in the first place. I should be ashamed of myself. But there's my little redneck uh, contraption. I took poles and hammered them into the ground and used string to hold up that metal piece that's keeping the plastic up and then I wrap string around the, the plastic to where the wind couldn't hit it and then up top that's where these strings right here are tied into and that little black thing that's popping up that was my uh, attempt at a flush system um, I don't know if it's working or not to be honest with you because I put the top on here after I did that, so it probably isn't. I'm gonna have to really work on getting that going because I've um, got totes that I've been, I'm gonna be making into um, gardens or little uh, garden garden boxes like this, but it's gonna be plastic and the top parts don't have any way of draining out. I can use the valve on the bottom part of the tote to open it and let the water drain but the top part doesn't have that so I've got a video coming up that I'll show you you know I'll discuss that later um, right here is the top I put little holes in it to where the water could drip down off the top and I also wanted the strings to be underneath those holes to where when the cantaloupes get to where they grow up they actually grow up out of the holes and even though I, I, I don't want to say it was a problem because it really wasn't at first but as time went by the leaves did turn white on here 
And the reason why was because those were growing up and had that water coming through the hole down onto the vines and they were hitting the leaves and stuff. Um, at least I believe that's what was causing it. The, that was later in, into the year though, right around August. These these the, these guys they they grew up beautiful. They were really good. Um, I didn't get any results from the other seeds either. And they they were all store bought too, so that everybody knows. I mean, there's a real high chance that they weren't going to grow anyhow. These cantaloupes they 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 work like a champ. some of the grass and stuff that's growing up in there too. Like I said, I, I didn't kill anything. I, I let everything grow. And that's layered with gravel on the bottom, rock salt, and then the topsoil that we used in uh, 2017. My brother actually went out and bought topsoil and we use that and it didn't work out too well so I took it all and put it in here and this is when the cantaloupes finally made it to the top and they started sprouting up on the top of that I got every single cantaloupe to finally make it to the top the last one actually made it, I'd say, two, maybe three weeks before the frost set in and finally killed them all. But, like I said, uh, the guy that did this, that I saw on the video, he is a genius. I mean, this takes a lot of talent. Um, I had to learn. Like, my first mistake was uh, trying to put the string around the plant, you know what I mean? Um, whenever it first came out, I was trying to, like, put a noose around the bottom of it, and I didn't realize that all I had to do was, like, I had six or nine inch nails, I took a, and I put the string at the end of the nine inch nail, and I just stuck this, the nine inch nail into the ground, and when the plant was coming up, I could have just easily wrapped the plant around the string. And then if it needed extra support, I could have done something, you know, to where it held it up. But that's all I needed to do, and just let it grow right up the string. And I, I, it took me almost the entire season before I figured that out. You see, I've got the brown spots and stuff like that. They actually, these actually outlive the cantaloupes that were in the garden too, by the way. Um, they, they lasted for at least all the way up until, I'd say until late September, early October. And this was my, my fatal mistake. I'll go over that, but this right here is not a good idea. I made it, I tried to do the same concept with this that I did with uh, the grow box, and it held up pretty good until a, a bad storm, and it all collapsed, it, and it ended up drowning out everything in there. I could never get the water out after it made it in there too. beets, um, chard, and cabbage and lettuce, uh, lost all that. Uh, but this is what it looked like towards the end. And 
that's my transplant. Uh, that did grow in there. I have no idea what kind of plant that is, but it's still it's still outside even today. I'm going to give it some water. It's in the winter time, so I'm not watering it as much. I started working on transplanting too, and I didn't do that great of a job. I got a few of them, or a couple of them, but. Plants either. I'm trying to get used to it, but um, I don't like the idea of my plants dying because of transplanting. You know, I'd like to be able to plant them, let them grow where they're at, and not have to move them. And the same as with these too. You know, I've heard people talk about these cantaloupes uh, strangling each other out and they need all this space and it's not actually true. Um, these cantaloupes, all of them, I, I didn't lose one cantaloupe from strangula strangulation. They didn't strangle one another out. They actually thrived off of one another. They did very well. They preferred to be next to one another. The, the plant that I told you that looked like a, a mango, it literally made it's a made an effort to grow towards the other ones because it didn't want to grow alone. And that was the first one I had that sprouted up. <clears throat> yeah, this is towards the end of the year whenever they were ready to die off and the spots they started popping up too. I I believe it was from the rainfall coming up off the top and draining down on top of it because that's what it did in the garden. So, yeah, it's true, keep the water off the leaves. And I'm sorry I didn't do them on the uh, time frame either. Um, I, uh, I thought I did do a better job than that, but I guess I did. The heck, I put the wrong video on at the beginning I had to put this one on so it shows you how I'm doing right now. I was satisfied with them on the beginning. I mean it, they all look beautiful. You see that? Like that plant right there with the yellow or red stem. Uh, I'm having a hard time recognizing cherry uh, trees because I went on the internet and tried to see what the cherry tree plants look like and there's so many different varieties it's hard to tell. So I'm I'm still trying to figure all that out. It's like I've said before, you know. <clears throat> I can grow these cantaloupes and lettuce and cabbage and everything every year and that's fine but if I can get one cherry tree, one peach tree, one apple tree, one pear tree, you know, one of each of them growing, I mean that, that's solid. That, that means every year I'm going to have those producing in my yard, you know, and uh, that's the way I want to go with it. I mean, get a good a good tree just one it doesn't matter how many die if I can get one to grow man I'm set and that's what I'm working on I'm on and I know it's a slow process but because like I know that like, in three years you're only going to get a tree that's maybe about six to twelve inches tall but it's worth the wait plastic might have been a little bit of overkill but I wanted to you know show a good video you, I'm 
got some pretty good shots of them too. They 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 came out looking pretty beautiful in here. I just could they they couldn't produce fruit. Next year I'm gonna try to do that concept. Maybe maybe not with the strings, but with the fence, you know, deer fence or something to work grow up and then on top let it lay down like it did on top there and grow out but the reason why I wanted to do that in the garden is because in this grow box I didn't have any problems with insects until late in the year whenever it was all said and done like around August or September and um, that was because the bugs were just tearing into the garden I had to fight off bugs and, and critters, but this right here didn't get attacked until after those were all gone. So next year when I do my garden, I'm going to try to elevate them up to keep the fruit off the ground. And that's the one mistake I made. I uh, did my garden where the leaves and vines and everything were on the ground. And it's like I said in the other video, I suggest it highly if you have a way of elevating them up, getting them up off the ground, do it because you don't want to contend with what's on the ground. You'd be surprised. I've got videos coming where I'm going to show you me digging up my gardens and the things I pulled out of my ground. These, This is less than three to four feet under the dirt, okay, the stuff that I pulled out of there, and you'd be amazed with the stuff in your backyard, go in your backyard and pick out a 4x4 four four area and just dig a hole, and you'd be completely amazed with what you find, that's all I have to say about that, it's, I'm, I'm completely amazed, I found petrified chicken bones, okay, actually put uh, a lid to a freaking uh, pot on there, on a couple things actually, to where it would stop popping up, because it would mess with the plants. The weather got so bad that by the time the end of fall came, the winds were so strong, they were, it literally tore that plastic completely off. I mean, it shredded it so small, I can't even use that plastic for anything like this anymore. I could probably use it for something small, like to cover a container, but that's about it. The weather this year has been insane. We were planning on growing, trying to grow for uh, fall, and it just got so out of hand, we, we gave up. There's the grass, the blades of grass. I ain't endorsing, you know, people growing wild grass to see what it looks like. It's that, That's pretty amazing. I've never seen grass get that big. Like a blade of grass. That's all that was too. It was just one blade of grass that stuck up and then it just got bigger. And, and like I said at the beginning of the video, I told myself, don't kill anything. Nothing in this grow box has been tampered with by me. Maybe by the squirrels, but that's it. This is where I had to use that top, hold down the top of my grow box. Keep
I guess it's okay because I wanted to, I didn't know where I was going to put that part when it came to the squirrels and the lettuce and cabbage. We used egg uh, cartons, and egg cartons work out fine. I had no problems with it. We even used old uh, chicken containers that you get at the deli for growing stuff too. This year we're going to have the actual containers where they have for the planting, but like right there. I mean, these squirrels are just something else. I don't know what to say about it. We've got this nest of them somewhere. And they, they think that they, they live here, and it's their house, I guess. <laughs> They're nuts. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. If you have any advice, any feedback, feel free to give it in the comment sections. It's like I said, I've got some seeds from the cantaloupe side of the garden, so if you guys want any, you know, let me know. We can work something out. I'm into trading them too, so, and I'm, I'd be willing to get rid of like, like 50 for buck 50, you know, stuff like that. Because I don't, I don't want to see them go to waste, and I'm not going to grow a whole bunch of them. I've got a video coming out. I'll show you what they look like, how how many of them I've got. So I've got plenty of them for next year. So if you guys need any seeds and you want to grow cantaloupes, let me know. And like I said, you know, if you have any tips, if you recognize any of those plants that I didn't uh, recognize. Give a comment, let me know. You know, I need all the help I can get. So, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.